Hey, it's Corey, back again with Bark, and we're going to do a rundown on helmets. Something to consider when you're climbing is <clears throat> it's definitely a good idea to have a helmet. You never know when you might get a slip, something might break, come down on you. So it's always good to be protected, and uh, the way we do that is we wear a helmet. So, <clears throat> As far as helmets go, this is where I started out. <clears throat> this is a pencil vertex vent and has vents that you can open up for ventilation. Um, just has a single dial in the back and this is the old style but this is where I started out. Worked good. Great helmet. Stepped up to this one, and it's the same thing. Um, it's just this one is the second version of it. It's got a little bit different adjusting system. Uh, the vents are a little bit easier. You can slide them down from the outside. That other one you have to reach inside of the helmet and put it down. So this one you could actually adjust the vents while you're wearing it. The other one you can't. You got to take it off and adjust the vents. Not a big deal. This one has what's called a center fit design. It has two dials, one on each side. So both sides get pulled to keep this in the center of your head as it's being tightened down. So it's kind of a cool feature. But uh, then I moved to a cask. And on the cask, I put a visor on there. You go down, it can protect your eyes. It's a pretty handy feature to have. Um, as an arborist, definitely being able to keep the sawdust out of your eyes on a windy day is to your advantage. Um, safety glasses do a decent job, but really a visor just adds a little bit of protection to the safety glasses. Keeps the stuff from coming in underneath them like always happens on windy days. So that's pretty handy. Um, they actually went with the same single dial on the back. It adjusts just fine. Um, it's a comfortable helmet. I've got no issues with it. Uh, it does have vents and the vents actually have a mesh over them so debris can't get in there like it can when you open the vents on the others. Uh, that's kind of nice. But these vents don't close either like the other ones do so that's something else to consider but cask definitely makes a nice helmet. <clears throat> this is a Vertex Best. This is the same as the vent style except it doesn't have the vents in the sides. Um, this serves two purposes. It's electrical rated so if I'm working around power lines um, there's no chance that anything's going to come through here so it's insulated. The other thing that this does is if it happens to be raining, it's not going to leak in through the vents and soak my head. It's going to run off the front and the back. It's going to keep me dry. But again, it's got the center adjust where it's got two of them that keeps everything centered up so that the helmet stays on the center of your head. I might note that this is also a suspension style. Your head doesn't touch the top, so it relies on deformation of the shell to absorb impact. Um, <clears throat> this is the Petzl Alveo, and I like this helmet. This is my go-to helmet right now. Um, it has vents. They're not closable, but uh, it has excellent ventilation. This one actually sits right down on top of your head and it relies on deformation of this foam instead of deformation of the shell. So it's a little bit different design. But because of that this one sits a little bit lower profile on your head. So I like that it sits a little bit closer to my head, fits well. Um, this one 
I've got Petzl's version of the visor on here. This one happens to be tinted. Uh, you can get clear ones, whatever you want on there. Another thing that I've got on here is I have a Cena Bluetooth system where I can talk back and forth with someone on the ground. Um, that's great. You know, if you're running ropes, communication is key. So if you're cutting and you got your ground guy running a rope and you know you need to control a piece a certain way, it's great to be able to talk to him over the saw clearly. <clears throat> this is one of the new vertex vents as well. Um, this one's got the clear visor on it. This is the one that my groundy wears. It's got the vents like I've showed. Got the Cena system on it. Center adjust. This is a suspension, so it sits up off your head just a little bit. But uh, that's kind of the rundown of, of what I've used as far as helmets. There's several other options out there. There's a lot of guys that like the Protos helmets, and uh, they're an excellent helmet. I just haven't gotten any of those and haven't seen a need. I really like the, the Petzl helmets. Um, I don't have a problem with the cask, but uh, just for me, I, I really like the Petzl helmets. So hope that helps you guys out in selecting some gear. I uh, always want to see people climbing safe, so uh, please, if you're climbing or if you get into climbing, um, invest in a helmet as well as a saddle and other gear. Till next time, keep climbing. <laughs>